So here's example one of using the alternate definition of the derivative. So uh, use the alternate definition of the derivative to find f prime of x if f of x equals 12 over x plus 4. So let's go ahead and just jump right in here. Um, our alternate definition tells us that f prime of x equals the limit as t uh, approaches x of f of t minus f of x divided by t minus x. Okay. Um, so next step would be here, uh, limit as t approaches x of what? Well, what's f of t? Well, if f of x is 12 over x plus 4, then f of t is 12 over t plus 4. All right, so this is uh, t plus 4. Well, and then f of x, we just know, is uh, 12 over x plus 4 here. Okay, and then on the bottom, we still have t minus x. So notice um, this first step here, this was a little bit easier uh, than using, you know, x plus h. Uh, it's probably not so bad in this case, but if you have a complicated function, then replacing x with x plus h might be kind of tricky or might be kind of a pain. Um, but if we're just replacing x with t, then that's pretty simple and straightforward there. So, you know, right away we see the alternate definition is a little bit simpler to work with. Um, so the next step here, we see we have a complex fraction, right? So here's a big top and a big bottom, and inside of the big top we have another top and another bottom. So uh, what we can do is ignore the big bottom and get a common denominator on the top, right? The least common denominator. Or we could just do what we've been doing and say, okay, here's t plus 4, here's x plus 4, so let's multiply the big top by t plus 4 times x plus 4, uh, and then we have to multiply the big bottom uh, by the same thing, of course. Okay, so now we have to be careful and put parentheses around here and here. So now, uh, let's expand that. All right, so nothing really new here. We've done this before when we've had uh, h's instead. All right, but this is just a little bit simpler because instead of x plus h plus 4, it's uh, t plus 4. And that's a little bit uh, nicer to look at. So here, what do we have? We have 12 over t plus 4 times this stuff here, times t plus 4, x plus 4. And then we'll do the second term now, uh, minus 12 over x plus 4 times this stuff here. 12 uh, times that stuff. Okay, and then on the bottom we have uh, t minus x, parentheses around that, be very careful, times uh, t plus 4 times x plus 4. All right, so now let's go ahead and simplify. So 12 over t plus 4 times t plus 4, uh, these are going to cancel, the t plus 4s. And over here, 12 over x plus 4, uh, and then x plus 4. So the x plus 4s cancel, it's great. So now what we have is uh, on the top, what do we have left? 12 times the quantity x plus 4 minus 12 times the quantity t plus 4. So let's come up here. All right, and, uh, this is going to equal the limit as t approaches x of, let's just rewrite it so it's easier to look at first, uh, 12 times the quantity x plus 4 minus 12 times the quantity t plus 4, all divided by t minus x times t plus 4, x plus 4. All right, so notice here on the top, uh, this is 12 times something minus 12 times something else. So there's a common factor of 12 that we can pull out from the top, all right? So let's go ahead and do that. So that would give us uh, this, all right? And then we erase it here. Let's just make that bigger. Okay, so now we have that. Um, and now, you know, this 12 here is just a constant, so we just pull it out of the whole limit, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Um, Let's actually just write that up here to save space. So 12 will be out there, and now we have that. Okay, so um, now we have this so far. So this is going to equal, uh, oops, this equals 12 times the limit as t approaches x of what do we have now. So let's drop all these parentheses on the top. So that's going to be x plus 4, and then minus t minus 4. So we have minus t minus 4. And then here's t minus x, uh, t plus 4, and x plus 4. All right, so we're almost there. Um, now here on the top we have plus 4, minus 4, so those cancel, and uh, that's good. So let's get rid of those, plus 4, minus 4. 
So now what we have is uh, x minus t. All right. So x minus t, here we're taking a limit as t approaches x. So what happens if we try direct substitution? Well, we're going to have uh, x minus x on top and x minus x on the bottom, so that's bad. So we want to cancel these somehow. But notice, this is x minus t, and that's t minus x. So how can we do that? Well, if you haven't done anything like this before, it might be kind of tricky, but the trick is to remember that uh, x minus t equals negative 1 times t minus x. All right. So what we just did here was we basically factored out a negative 1 from x minus t. So it might be easier to see going from right to left. You know, if you start with this, distribute the negative 1 through, what do you get? Negative t plus x, or in other words, x minus t. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll rewrite the top like this. All right, we'll rewrite it like that. <clears throat> so let's erase this and go ahead and do that. So this is going to equal 12 times the limit as t approaches x of negative 1 times t minus x, all divided by t minus x, t plus 4, x plus 4. All right, now we can cancel, right? Because here's t minus x, here's t minus x. Now we can cancel them, and that's great, uh, because now, let's uh, erase this. Because now this just equals 12 times, uh, now we can do direct substitution, right? So before we do that, let's just rewrite this so that it's not so messy. Um, so what we have is negative 1 on top from that, uh, and then we have t plus 4 times x plus 4. Okay, so now we can just do direct substitution. So we're going to take a limit as t goes to x, so that means 12 times uh, negative 1 over, we're going to replace all the t's with x's, because t is going to x. So all the t's in here get replaced with an x. So this becomes x plus 4. And this x plus 4 just stays x plus 4. All right, so when we simplify this, uh, we get negative 12 over x plus 4 quantity squared, and that's our derivative there, all right? So, um, you know, whether or not this is simpler than using the uh, original definition that we talked about, that's kind of a matter of uh, personal opinion, I guess, but I think this might be a little bit better because um, here, you know, we just had t plus 4 instead of x plus h plus 4. So for this particular function, it's not really a big deal, but if you have something uh, a little messier, like maybe if you had x's on top and the bottom, this might be a little better to work with, depending. Um, but the only tricky part is uh, remembering that x minus t equals negative 1 times the quantity t minus x. But the more you do that, you know, the easier it is, or the easier it will be to see uh, when you need to do that. So it just takes some practice. Uh, and again, here's our final answer here.